My name is Jaya and I'm a lecturer here at SUSS. Uh, I teach health psychology, performance psychology, health and well-being as well as health coaching uh, to the students here at SUSS. So my background is actually in uh, healthcare, so I work in healthcare. What my studies was, it's actually in sports science management as well as health psychology. look at the benefits of exercise on three main domains. So one would be the biological part of the story, then we've got the psychology and the social element. So it's all interrelated. With regards to biology, obviously we know that with exercise, you get stronger muscles, your cardiovascular system or rather your heart gets stronger. So you get more stamina, it also helps with your muscles in terms of your posture, flexibility. So the bio part gets benefited this way. And from the social part of it, sometimes you do exercise with other people. You go out, exercise with your friends, or you go to a gym, or you go to a class. There is that social element there. Sometimes people enjoy doing exercises as a group. Based on the recommendations by Health Promotion Board, we are looking at 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise uh, for a week. Uh, then you can ask me, so what is moderate intensity? So you can actually test it out yourself using a talk test. But if you're able to formulate short sentences, that would be moderate intensity exercise. And high intensity exercise means you cannot formulate sentences, but you can say short phrases. There is a lot of psychological benefits. So with exercise, there is a release of lots of hormones in your body and those things make you feel good. Sometimes after exercising, while exercising, it might be really challenging, but after it, you feel really good, you feel happy. So there are some feel-good hormones that are being released. So psychologically, there is definitely a positive impact due to exercise. Everyone, my name is Ajivan. You can call me AJ. So uh, for today, I'll just be doing a short app workout. I usually do one that's about 10 minutes long, halfway while I'm studying. So usually, uh, I'll be studying for about a few hours and then I'll find myself getting a bit tired and a bit stressed out. So I find the best way to relieve the stress uh, is an activity that is healthy. About 5.23. Yeah, so um, it's going to be about 10 minutes long. It always feels very long. That's the timing now. It's 5.34. That's about 10 minutes. And uh, it's, it's tiring but uh, you feel very accomplished by the end of it. And you feel like you did something good. It doesn't mean that if you do less than 150, you cannot experience the benefits of exercise. So what I generally say is any form of physical activity is better than none. Yes, I would say that workout slump is very real. Even for somebody who has been exercising for many, many years, there can be a time where they don't feel like exercising anymore. To overcome a workout slump, one thing majorly we are looking at the motivation, what motivates the person in the first place, and then following that, um, how do you overcome that? Bring in the social support. So bring in your friends, your family members, or create new challenges, create new goals. Uh, these will definitely help. These are some ways you can help yourself to get out of that workout slump. If you're looking at plateauing your exercise, meaning you exercise for very long, but then you don't seem to be achieving your goals, or you don't seem to be achieving that dream weight that you're looking for, then it might be something to do with the diet. 